<laughs> hey, what's up, people? And welcome back to the Over in Eight Minutes podcast. I'm your host, Sam Matthews. Today, I'm joined by one of the best guests I could possibly get on. I've been trying for so long. The man who's known from Gala all the way to Hong Kong. His smile is almost twice as long as that length as well. Voice in Murray Field, everybody's favourite man, the runner of the most popular rugby pod account. Happiness is egg shape, Mr. Bruce Aitchison. How are you, sir? How are you getting on? I feel like a mic drop and I'll just leave and have your shortest ever podcast. That is <laughs> that is quality introduction skills. I love that. Thank you. I learned from the best. I've been sat watching Edinburgh for five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Mate. No, it's a pleasure to have you on. Most important question I'm going to ask you. How are you? How are you as a person? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm happy. I'm emotional. It's... Uh, it's a strange thing at the moment, I think is the, the best way I can sum it up. I'm desperate to see people and be part of a crowd and I want to watch sport and I want to go places and I want people to come and visit and all those things. So I'm feeling the same frustrations everybody is, but I'm also very grateful for, for what I've got. Uh, family and myself are, are healthy, touching wood as we say all these things um, and life life is generally quite good but uh, I'm done with this situation, I'm ready I'm ready to get back to seeing people and mixing with people and being places uh, I think you're preaching to the choir there, I for one am absolutely fed up, I miss I miss not having to book a table in a pub. I miss being able to go, do you want to go to the pub and not planning it for in the middle of May going, do you want to go to the pub in August? <laughs> yeah, it's I'm, I'm not really a pub goer, but I, I like to go to things and my kids have been dragged to cycling at the Chris Hoy Velodrome in Glasgow and we go to watch netball and we went to watch Kieran Achara's last game for the Rocks and we go to Edinburgh Rugby and we go and watch all sorts of things. So not, it, it's not being able to plan as well, having those things in your calendar, you know, the I'm still mm -hmm. old fashioned, my wife and I still have the calendar on the kitchen wall. If it's on the calendar, then it's gospel. <laughs> uh, we should probably move on and sync some calendars electronically. But uh, when people ask me things, I say, right, can I, can I message you when I get home? Because I need to check that on the calendar. So, yeah, it's it's having those plans. Uh, teachers, especially when you know when your holidays are, you tend to fill them up with things, and that's not really been possible recently. But I think we're getting there. I hope we're getting there. No, no, no I'm the exact same. Mum and Dad still keep the calendar on the wall, and I can do anything I want. I'll find it written there. <laughs> that's, how I know, that's how I know when my dad's free I don't even ask him, just check the calendar check the calendar, you know when it's your night and you know when it's wife's night and you know when the kids have to be picked up and dropped off and do all those things Yeah, it's it's the gospel in here Exactly. One of the 10 extracurricular activities that they're running. <laughs> oh, well, it's, I think we need to invest in a helicopter to get them from here to there and, and back again. And then knowing where we're supposed to be. And then you speak to each other sometimes uh, when you get a chance. Exactly. Honestly, I reckon there's a, I reckon there's a groove in the road between Peebles and my house where my mum's driven up and down to every rugby train and every... Bless yeah, the it's the it's the life of being in the borders when a lot of your attractions are in Edinburgh or around, and yeah, uh, that's why kids are always desperate to pass their driving test in the borders because you're desperate to do it yourself. <laughs> Save the money on the bus fare as well. Uh, half, half your money for the day out spent on the bus fare and back. Yeah, or mum's taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not brave enough to phone my mum when I miss the last bus. I'll, I'll sooner walk. <laughs> Right, Bruce, by popular demand of the fans and the quotes of this is the best part of the podcast, get to it quicker. We're going to start with the quick fire questions today. So I'm going to go against the grain. So it's going to be a simple, as soon as you get the idea in your head, you go with it. No okay. thinking. And then if you say something that's controversial, I'll sit there and make you digest. I'll make you, oh, what's the word? I'll make you explain yourself. And we'll All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Bruce Aitchison's quick fire questions. Here we go. Simple start off. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Haggis or black pudding? Oh. <laughs> Haggis. Oh, correct. This is a personal one that me and producer Sean took great pleasure in. Lorraine Kelly or Louise Redknapp? Uh, Louise Redknapp. <laughs> We're going to get back onto that later. <laughs> I mean, you've pretty much come up and up saying pub guy, but night out or a night in? Uh, night out. Night out. Pints or cocktails? <laughs> uh, fight <laughs> oh, different answer to me <laughs> would you rather have scored a try or made a try saving tackle as a 10 I know your answer but... 
<laughs> well, I hardly, I don't think I did either of those. So I'll go with score a try just to see what the feeling's like. You were the one taking the th- the big hit as you just offloaded and put somebody through. That's what we'll put it down as. I, I don't think I even had the ball long enough to be given a big <laughs> hit. Uh, I'll tell you about my teacher's comments, plenty. Uh, Gala or Edinburgh? Edinburgh. <laughs> Playing or coaching? Playing every day of the week and three times on a Sunday. <laughs> sevens or fifteens? Fifteens. Best sevens tournament in the borders. Gala. Marooned at Gala in <laughs> August twenty first. <laughs> no plugs on this thing. No, no, no plugs. <laughs> no. I'll be there. I'll look to you there. Right. How'd you like your steak cooked? Uh, used to be in the olden days, well done, but now I would say medium. We'll get, we'll convert you eventually. If it's still mooing, then it's ready to be eaten. Uh, <laughs> I don't do blood. You don't do blood? Don't do blood. Nah. Oh, you would have hated my old workplace. <laughs> uh, don't do blood. Nah. Uh, stone Cold or The Rock? The Rock. There we go, we're done. Easy as that. All we've got to do is easy as that. Right, first one we're coming back to. Why Louise Redknapp over Lorraine Kelly? Because And I want you to explain why I chose that question, because I know it, but the viewers might not know it. And you've got some great stories with those two. Uh, well, well, I don't know if I've got great stories with either of them, but uh, Louise Redknapp is from the days of Eternal and then when she went on her own, I, I still would rather she was referred to as L- Louise Nerding, uh, but that one really is a bit creepy. Uh, yeah, that I'm pretty sure my wife and I had an agreement way, way back in the olden days before we were married where there was the free pass. Uh, Nikki could be with Jamie and I could be with Louise. I'm pretty confident that I'm not sure that still stands or that it was ever going to happen then or now anyway. But yeah, Louise Redknapp. And then during lockdown, uh, I'm not really an Instagram person. I still don't really get it, but I spent a bit of time in Louise Redknapp's kitchen at the start of lockdown. Uh, She reenacted all sorts of videos and posted pictures of her dogs and all that kind of stuff. So, and that's something when I've spoken about or messaged or posted about my own mental health uh it's one of the things that i refer to that life isn't always just being in louise redknapp's kitchen so yeah it's just and it's just become one of those silly things with people who know me on social media um whenever something comes up with louise redknapp i tend to get tagged in it by various people uh, just to make sure that i've seen it she is going to be in scotland for the nine to five musical so i, I think i was tagged in that by a good half dozen people and then I was sent it privately on DMs and all sorts so people tend to know how I feel about Louise Redknapp. Lorraine Kelly is an absolute nation's treasure and during January when there was a big fundraiser for Doddy Weir um, Lorraine Kelly was involved and on a Thursday evening I'd got in touch with Rob Wainwright and said look I would love to do something here to raise the profile so I got in touch with Rob and said I think we could do a show every week with the captains, the vice captains, the team managers and various other people that are getting involved. So we did one with the captains which I loved and then there was a bit of an appetite for more so we did it on a Thursday night and it, and it went down quite well and I I loved doing it and then we got Lorraine Kelly on she was just gold off stage before we hit record so down to earth so lovely Um, and I said to her listen I want you can I ask you this and she was just game for everything so I said to her before she signed off the next day could she try and get happiness is egg shaped onto Lorraine So sure enough, my phone goes bananas with people saying, she said it, she said happiness is egg shaped. And she said, I was talking to my pal Bruce last night, which obviously just gives me a big silly grin on my face because Lorraine Kelly said that I was her pal. (laughs) And she said, happiness is egg shaped. And then Andy Peters waded in with, I think he means the song by the seahorses, but obviously I didn't mean the song by the seahorses. So it was quite cool to have been on that. And then I got sent it by heaps of folk. And now that's on the intro of my own podcast, uh, which is available on Apple, Spotify and uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> all other places you can get your podcast. Uh, so it's it's I've on still, the intro. I've stolen your followers. You're wasting words. Nah, there. Nah, all go people for here are your followers. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's just she's just lovely, and uh, I just like nice people. And I've met heroes before, and I've met celebrity people before, and I've left a bit empty. I try not to judge because sometimes. You might just have caught them on a bad day or, you know, just because they're celebrity doesn't mean they have to pander to everybody's want and need. So uh, I try not to, but Lorraine was just lovelier than you could have possibly imagined. And you can see why she has the talk show that she's got because she's so easy to talk to and just seems like a nice person. So if and when I, I get the chance to go and do come dine with me or any of those things, I'll be inviting Lorraine Kelly and Louise Redknapp. And Louise Redknapp. <laughs>